feeling trapped and feeling imprisoned. It just feels like you're in far walls constantly. You're a piggy wig as well. Yeah. She's <laughs> getting hair. A few toys. Not too many. I'm out with drawing. Is that Bob the Builder? Yeah. Is that just his hat? My little boy's bed. Oh, what is it? Wait. Uh, Our bed. And the cot. And the mole the lamp to go with it. <laughs> what have you done about the... Um... It's been reported to the council. It's cleared up a little bit there, as you can see, where it's been cleaned, but the rest of it's come back just as bad. That's that my... Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> like we're having to keep all our clothes in here as well and bagged up and in the cupboards and there's just nowhere to put anything. Some of the clothes even stay in them baskets all the time because there's just no space to put them anywhere else. Yeah. I mean as well because Simon's epileptic, if paramedics need to get in they struggle with his time space to bring the equipment in because he stays on this side of the bed. And to be able to do what they need to do with him, they have to usually whisk him off to hospital because there's just no space. Whereas if we had a bigger place, then he'd have more space be to be right able to... up there. What I would ideally like is a room where when things get on top of me, I can go and escape to, away from the children. Well, there's been times, hasn't it, where, where we've, we've, we've had arguments, just, oh, you know, every Dis couple disagreements. does. Disagreements. <laughs> every couple does, and I've, I've gone down to my mum's or my auntie's to, to actually have have space, basically, just to wow. let ourselves chill down. And I've spent the night round at my auntie's or, or my or mum my, my and dad's just just to give us both that bit of space and, and a, a little bit of time to relax and, and calm down. And when I've come back in the morning, we're, we're, we're absolutely fine. No, stop now, Taryn. Ah. Stop. It's just being able to have that bit of space. Maybe if, you know, <laughs> like I could, like a typical dad, I could go in the garden and pot it in my shed. You know, <laughs> something like that. Same as, same as my dad does. If he, if he, someone gets on top of him, he goes and pots in the garden. You know, as <laughs> simple as that. Well, we have both agreed but, though that most of stress comes from lack of space, and most of the arguments come from lack of space. Well, it's, it's been on top of each other all the time, isn't it? Yeah, obviously because Simon can't work due to his medical conditions. And I'm struggling to find things to do. I can't work because I'm full-time on my days and... I was working at uh, Novato, wasn't I, doing catering. I was a uh, second chef there. And I think it was just the hours, basically, that I was doing... <laughs> that uh, sort of messed, messed my tablets up, really, having that... <laughs> The hours I was doing then, you know, I was doing the split shifts, 12 hour shifts, starting at 7 in the morning and finishing at 12 at night. I think that's what originally did sort of mess up my tablets because I wasn't able to take them at time, at the right time. <laughs> Other than that, I'm just trying to get the right dosage of tablet and get myself back to work, really. <laughs> With two bands, there's always something to do, but it's. Yeah, it's not the same as uh, as going to work and doing a day's work and thinking, yes, I've earned this this money today, and, and that, that's what I, I I loved about being at work, getting your wage at the end of the week and saying, yes, I've worked for that. I've actually, I've I've worked hard for that, and I, I've, I, you know, it's something you deserve. But more than anything, Taryn longs for a garden. My little boy would love a garden. Yeah, originally all he wanted for his birthday was uh, an apple tree. That's quite sweet. <laughs> Sad because I can't give him a garden with an apple tree. Go. I've been here two and a half years now. When we first moved in, we did get told it'd only be temporary accommodation. We got told it'd have to be made permanent, otherwise, we were going to lose it. Basically, you get put in a band, then you're either bronze, silver, or gold. And each week on the North Yorkshire Home Choice website, you have to bid on properties. 
and each time you bid you get a position like one week you might be 41 and another week you might be 13 but then there's always that other 12 people in front of you or that other 40 people in front of you that are more than likely going to get somewhere before you are but why does it have to take lot so long for us I find it harder than you don't I because you're the stronger person deep down Have your coffee and go lay down. <coughs> Liz had to go back to bed, haven't you? Because he's uh, feeling rubbish, which he usually I do, does. Yeah, I, I All right, darling, leave it there. Which <laughs> usually does feel <sighs> well. We feel a big one. I haven't had one for a while. Darren, I'm talking. Yeah, it leaves him feeling washed out, it leaves him feeling exhausted. And then it like gets me stuck as well because I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere or do anything because I need to be here in case anything happens. I don't like to leave him after he's had a fit. We could easily have another one and I'd feel awful. <laughs> You're not having anything else till dinner time, Tyron. Here you go. <sighs> We've had a big chat this morning about it all because we could both feel tension of needing some space and things. <laughs> I suppose it's the same in every relationship, isn't it? You can't be with someone 24 7 and with him not being able to work, a bit of space <laughs> now and again would be lovely. You're not having that coffee. I suppose what I was wanting is a house with a bath and not just a shower because it's awful trying to bath the children in the shower. <laughs> Can only hurt, can't you? Only dream. <laughs> Both had the same idea of buying a nice big house somewhere. With enough land for the children to be safe. And you have a one dog, put it on your hands, you put it in your mouth. That's Doc Hudson. Yep, that is Queen. Lightning McQueen. It feels like we've got nowhere that we can actually call our own. It just feels like you're in far walls constantly. <laughs> it rips you, it, it does tear you apart.